So now it's my turn, Matt. I'm really angry that you've shot one of my poor rats off the table. I can tell. They're, I can see it in your eyes. All they're doing is they've come out, they're just looking for some cheese, and you have decided to take out your aggression on them. So I am going to fight you, basically. Great. Um, so when it comes to fighting, what you do is you can actually, you move, and then as soon as you move into a cube with an opponent, you initiate a fight, uh, an assault action. Okay. So poor, let's call it Trevor. Poor Trevor here is Tre out. Trev. Trev, okay. Trev's friends. So poor Trev is out in the middle here, and my rats are very, very close to him. Now, we've already established that they're quite fast, so mm -hmm. they can get out to him quite quickly. So what I would do is I would say, okay, well, I'm going to fight Trevor here. So I would just move into this cube on two, which would initiate fight action. Now there's no bonuses in kind of an assault action for um, kind of cover or anything like that, because okay. obviously you're in the same cube, you're pretty close, you know, by this point you've got a knife at your throat. Yep. So uh, you won't get any bonuses for that. You get a bonus for the charging effectively. Yes, so what will happen is, the bonuses actually come on the attacker's side for, for things like charging in, uh, having uh, extra kind of um, friendly units in the cube as well. Okay. Uh, so that doesn't stack. So the most uh, for most of the units anyway, that doesn't stack. So if I had two in there, it wouldn't increase. You'd, you'd get your standard one. As so well. It's just it's outnumbered no matter how many out, you're outnumbered. Yeah, by. Exactly. Okay. unless they have rules like horde, and then it starts to get a bit more a bit more tasty. Let's say. Uh, now the other thing to bear in mind is we, we talked a little bit about size affecting kind of how how big miniatures can get into cubes. So yep. um, my nightmare here is a size two model. What I can also get is a bonus that if I'm bigger than my opponent, I get a bonus for that as well okay. when I'm uh, kind of an assault action. So rather than kind of moving in with my little weedy stalker here, I think actually I'm gonna come in with my big dude yeah, and, and attack big drill. Yeah. Great. So the nightmare is speed one, two. Okay. So what I can actually do, I can actually sprint in one, two. Which is a long action. Which is a long action, but it automatically triggers the... It's a free... It's almost like a free assault. assault. Action. Yeah. So that's really important because um, if you move in, it's like a free action. If I was already in the cube and I wanted to assault you, it's a long action. So actually moving in is really good to, to get some bonuses. Now, are you allowed to, once you to move into a cube, are you allowed to move enemy models or your own models out the, out the way to kind of get in? So don't move the enemy one. Uh, but yeah, you can position yourself, again, to try and take advantage of a little bit of cover. I mean, I've moved a little bit there, but try and take advantage of the cover so you can kind of squeeze But they in. obviously don't have to be in base-to-base -base contact. No, no. Be, oh, no, they can be. The cube, yeah. I could be like here. So as long as you're placed within the cube, that's fine. Okay. Now, what you can't do is... I can't be up here because that counts as a different cube yeah. up there. Now you will get some, sometimes people model it so there's like a little platform or something like that. As long as you're not higher than a cube, then that would count as being in the same. A little ramp or something like that. Yeah. It counts as all parts being on the same level. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I've charged in with my nightmare. He's very, very angry about um, Cyril. He looks quite irate. Yeah, no, he is. He's fuming. Um, and now I'm going to actually fight you. So, again, like we just like the shooting, you start with three dice. Okay. So that's a standard test. Yeah. All yeah. All dice have a standard of, of three, and then you start to add the bonuses on. You get an extra dice for charging in. Okay. And then I also get an extra dice because I am bigger than you. Okay. Now, if I had one of my little ratty friends, then I would also get a bonus for them. As well. But I think. Probably got. So that would fear. be that six dice, which would be effectively the equivalent of being a clear shot up higher. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. In combat. Yeah. yeah. So if I look at my nightmare, I've got a fight stat of four plus. Okay. Now, do I have to use my fight stat? Well, no. If you want, you've got the option. You can either fight back, or you can survive. Now, you may say, Matt, why would I ever survive? Why? Why would I ever survive? Oh, good, I can see why I might survive. Good question, yeah. <laughs> so um, some of the units have much better survive stats than they do fight stats. Okay. So, so you're better at dodging than hitting back. Exactly. Okay. So you might want to uh, kind of actually almost like dodge out of the way and stop getting hit. So 
I'm going to yeah. roll. F- do I decide that before you roll your dice? Yes. I do. Okay. Yeah. So, so I you can't, can't wait to see what <laughs> yes. you do. You can't okay. wait to see how well I do. Right. Okay. So, so what will you do? I will. I am better at surviving. Yeah. So I will fight back. Okay. Good. Well, there we go. That's. Uh, so I'm going to roll. Because Trev's brave. Okay. Good for Trev. So I'm going to roll my dice. So four plus. So I've got three at the minute. Now, uh, so I'm armed. Uh, so actually. My natural, I have a natural ability of Frenzy 1, and okay. that means I can re-roll one miss. Is you, your model or you personally? <laughs> I personally am fre- <laughs> always like Frenzy. Great. Frenzious? Frenzy. Frantic. 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 There we go. Sure. Um, so, so you're Frenzy 1. So, what so Frenzy the, 1. What does the 1 mean then? So that means I can re-roll one dice. Right, okay. So Frenzy 2 would be... Two yeah, and it does stack actually. So for example, my Nightmare, I can either equip it with uh, just one drill, or I can give it two drills. That has frenzy one, so overall I'd have frenzy two. Okay. So I could re-roll two. So I'm gonna re-roll this and this will be an eight. Or it'd be a four. Four plus me. Four plus. So I've got four. Four successes. And you're going to fight back. Um sixes. Okay. These will be sixes. Oh, oh my suppose. goodness. So it's a seven and an eight, so five misses. Yeah. But I get an extra dice. So yeah, I'll, you re-roll. So effectively re- I'll roll this one again then. So I've rolled four successes, and you've rolled a measly two. Uh, now that means, that just like a survive with the shooting, my two cancel out your two. Okay. So take them out. And then the difference is two, which means I've caused two wounds. Think. Poor old Trev. Yeah. I so think. if I look up uh, Trev, now his HP is two. So he, fortunately, yeah. it sounds like he is no longer with us. Has he got any armour? Um he has armor, a little dash symbol. I'm assuming a, a little dash means no make, armor. That's not the make of the armor. No, uh, and obviously I had uh, AP one on my combat drill, so potentially so would have, would have removed it. I would have anyway. drilled straight through that. So where there was a green marine, there's now some what, red a mist. Splat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I just remove him. Yep, that's okay. it. And is there any kind of like follow up for you or? Anything? No, no, I just I just stay there now. That's done. Ready, probably. And to your be turn shot. would then be that activation would be over. Yeah, that's okay. it. That's the end of my turn. How do we mark the end of uh, an activation like that? So you get some tokens in the box, in the two-player set. Actually, in the rule books as well, you get a token sheet. And you can okay. just put that on it to mark it activated. Okay.